Welcome back to Cello Lessons by David Pineda Huesa. Today's lesson is for left hand drills and patterns of the hand. We're going to take a look at placement and spacing of the fingerings when setting your left hand on the fingerboard. You will not need your bow for this. You'll be plucking with your right hand. The first thing we're going to do is to find that knot at the top of the fingerboard and then align it more or less with the, your cheekbone and also trying to find the center of that hand by touching our second finger with the thumb. Then we're going to measure three finger spacement and then right about where your fourth finger will go is where your first finger will be displaced and then spread the hand in a curved manner and then make sure you have a finger in between each one of those fingers. You can watch it again. Close position, pattern one, two, four, where there's a half step in between one and two, third finger in between, and then we measure a whole step actually from the second to the fourth finger. Having that third finger in between two and four makes it a whole step. You can watch this again. In this exercise, we're going to practice the release, lifting away of the fingers when we do a pattern. So we already did the one, two, four pattern. Here, as you can see, we set the hand and then pull away, almost plucking the string from the resting position and then pulling towards the center of the hand. Here we'll do the same exercise of lifting or releasing the finger from the string. Again, we're pulling away and it's almost uh, plucking with the left hand motion. This is a one, three, four pattern. We're going to study extended position pattern one, two, four. This is also known as extended forward position, where we move the second finger to where the third finger usually goes, and then we spread the third and fourth finger, making sure that there is a finger spacing more or less in between two, three, and four. Again, we set up this position by extending between one and two, the second finger going to the position where the third finger used to be, and then continuing the motion. This is a shifting drill. So you're going to put your thumb inside the center of your hand, curve your fingers, put the thumb on the side of the fingerboard, put your, all your fingers lined up on the D string, and then you're going to feel the gravity of your hand falling through towards the instrument. Very important that you let it fall through. Feel the weight of your hand as you do it. We're going to go back to the left hand articulation drills in here for a moment. And plucking as releasing is what we're going to do. And the pattern here is just doing one finger at a time over the string. So let's watch this again. Place finger, hook string, release by plucking. So that's going to be the drill. And as you can see here, I am doing this, and you can do this on all strings, so make sure that you do follow that. I'm going to practice the release now crossing strings. So I started with my fourth finger with the A, D string with the third, G string with the second finger, C string with the first finger, and then I start with the first finger on the A, second finger on the D, third finger on the G, and fourth finger on the C.
Continuing with the crossing string release, now we start in the reverse variation. So starting one, two, three, four, rather than four, three, two, one, which was the exercise before, still doing the same string crossing. So pay attention to that. And remember, we are plucking with our left hand fingers. This one is going to be a little different. So we're going to take each finger and go across each one of the strings. So the, each one of the fingers will get to pluck each one of these strings, starting from the high string and going all the way to the lower string or C string. Lastly, we're going to do a combination pattern. So we're going to start with the one, two, four pattern. We're going to plug that string one, two, four. Then one, three, four, plug in the string. Then we're going to do an extension one, extend it to three, then four, and then coming right back down. Make sure you do this on all strings so you can experience the different height of the arm as you cross one string to the other. That's all for now. We'll catch you next time and thank you for watching and have a good practice. Bye.